So it's uh, another weekend, another Ordax event. This week, a bit of deja vu, um, attempt number two at doing a 600. So I'm hoping that this is going to be my final qualifier to get my place for Parry, Brest Parry. Um, I'll be honest, I'm getting a little bit uh, frustrated by, by the whole process. I can understand the need to do these distances, but um, given that I completed London, Edinburgh, London last year, and that's even more than Parry, Brest Parry, I, I just think that maybe something more should be given for, for people who've done that. But hey, it needs to be done now. Um, I had bad luck the last time I tried the 600 and last weekend or just over, just over a week ago, I had a failed attempt at the North Coast 500. So things recently haven't been going well. I'm hoping that this weekend and this distance is going to be better. So at least it has got to a good start. The, I caught the first train, I'm now in Swansea, just waiting for the next leg. This Audax starts in Cardiff. It's a 600, it basically goes from Cardiff all the way to the west coast in Aberaeron, all the way back to Cardiff, and then all the way out into England, somewhere northeast of Swindon, kind of into the Cotswolds, and then back to Cardiff. Uh, you could probably do this in two ways. You could, I'm thinking I might do it over two days. I've got a hotel booked for two nights so I could in Cardiff because it comes back through stop there and then do it over two days but I'm kind of hoping not to do it non-stop this just because I really want to get back on Saturday I mean this is a it's a good one in some ways it starts on a Friday so I've got to finish it by about 10 o'clock on Saturday <laughs> Oh, welcome to Cardiff. Um, it's crazy to think now, it's 15 years since uh, I was a cycle courier around this city. So I know it pretty well. I've got to go up to San Aderin, and I know I've got a nasty climb up Kinkoid Hill, but otherwise, fairly easy to, to get to where I'm staying tonight. And a nice early 4.45 alarm clock. So maybe it's because I used to have uh, single speed, but that was a lot easier than, uh, than I ever remember it was, even with a bag on my back. So yeah, I just arrived here. This is my bike. So just a quick look. There's a few parts that have changed. So I'm back on my Super 6, my favorite bike. I have got these Kdex wheels on test for Road CC currently. Uh, Kdex aero tires on there as well, 65 mil deep uh, rims and 25 mil tires. And then I've also got this black ink one piece bar stem. Uh, very early days, but so far it feels really good. And it's got a nice handy stem section there where I can put all of the checkpoints. It's pretty much the same spec as I'm gonna be running for. Parry Breast Parry, got the frame bag on, spare clothes, food, all sorts of bits and pieces like that, battery. I'll need to recharge this because it's too long. The only um, slight downside is on this bar stem, you, know, you can see that it's got this GoPro mount and I've had to just do a little convoluted system to be able to put my uh, uh, exposure light on there. But yeah, hopefully hopefully it's all all right. So early start tomorrow. So right at the start, <clears throat> uh, nice and light for this one, six o'clock in the morning. Looks like about 20 many people maybe doing this. So not as many as Breway Cymru, but still quite a few. And heading heading north out of Cardiff, I'm hoping I can remember all the streets. So, yeah, one other thing that I've brought for for this to test out, I've got the Castelli, the gravel shorts they are, but they've got the pockets, the cargo pockets. So I just need to carry as much stuff as I possibly can for this, like just because of the distance. Um, yeah, so ready, getting ready to roll out now. So first 50k is done, feel okay. So I think, uh, just about to turn off this A road. This first section has been all urban and it's rush hours, so it's not been particularly nice. But from here now, should hopefully improve. The sun's out, starting to warm up. So it should uh, hopefully all be good. So the only thing that's 
going to prove challenging for the next bit, I think, although it's a long, draggy climb. Is the wind, you can feel it blowing, it's open here, and I think it's only going to stay or get worse. Yes, so I just keep pushing on, long way to go. So one um, benefit of knowing the roads is that you can pick your favorite little spots, nice little hidden away bakery. So just a quick grab and go espresso and a, these are my favorite little tarts that they do, almond tarts. So there's a lot of stops today trying to make efficient, um, just sort of in and out and um, try not to waste too much time. So before I got here, it's 28 k's an hour average. Um, by the time I'm leaving, it might be towards 27 or maybe a little bit higher. So yeah, uh, next stop, Aberaeron on the coast. Really? So most of the time in Audax is you either get a stamp from someone who's there, or you get a receipt to prove you've been through. Every now and again, you get some uh, info controls. So you've got to say something along the route. So this one, I need to know the distance to Neath Road. That's two miles. So I just write that down on my brevet card. And uh, yeah, that's your proof to show you've been through. Uh, now, I've been through Aberaeron, and now 100, well, just under 150, so halfway back to Cardiff. So that's all the controls that I've got today, quite a few. So I've got the control, the distance in kilometers, and then if it's, a, if it's, an, o, it's an open control, so that's why I need to get a receipt in this one. If it's the I, which is only one, that's an input control. So, weather-wise it's been good so far. I had mostly a tailwind, some crosswinds. Now I'm heading back east. It doesn't actually feel too bad at the moment, but I don't want to speak too soon. So I just ticked over 200 k's and that's seven and a half hours so that's pretty good. Biggest change at the moment is the heat. It's really started to, to warm up. Computer saying over 20. But uh, it was forecast, I'm expecting it. Trying to make sure I drink enough and every stop, every checkpoint, make sure I take on board as much as I can. Uh, it's also forecast to get really cold tonight. So I've got to deal with it all. Uh, yeah, 5Ks now to the next checkpoint. And then we've got a big, big distance to Cardiff at 300. And now back in uh, South Wales Valleys. Just skipping across the top of it few valleys, long draggy climbs. I think uh, it's probably the hottest time of the day now. Um, I've coped all right to here, so fingers crossed I should be all right now. Just coming through Rigos. Uh, anyone who knows the name might be because of the mountain, but thankfully I'm just coming through the village. I don't need to go over the mountain, although I could do if I really wanted to. Yeah, just coming around Cardiff. Decision time. I've got a place where I could stop if I want. I could even get my head down for the night, get proper food. Uh, or I keep going. Here we are.
back in the city. So if I keep going, I'm just going to do a system check. You know, head, body, I mean, I'm not going to lie, we've done 300 k's, you're going to be tired. I've luckily got no pain in my knees or nothing major. Uh, I am thirsty, but I can top up here now. It just depends on how much I want to get it done tonight or rather by the morning. So yeah, if I keep going, I mean, that's it. I'm going to be going through the night, really. If the shit hits a fan, then I can find a travel lodge or something somewhere. But otherwise, it's uh, another 11, 12 hours of riding. So tough, uh, tough call, but I think I'm going to have a crack. I'm out of Cardiff and through Newport as well. So that was all the urban stuff or the worst of it done. It's still quite a busy road. Lots of stop start to slow down quite a bit. And uh, I think this next section is going to be quite tough. Picked up a strong headwind and I've got this headwind for the next. 150 kilometers. The next checkpoint is in 50 k's. I think I'll have a, another big stop and a big feed there and then see, uh, see how I'm feeling. Hopefully still got the legs. I've uh, got a bit of a problem. Uh, the light bracket. I've got on here is about to snap. I can hear a noise. Um, yeah. So I don't know what to do. Yeah, it's too far to turn back. Uh, yeah. Uh, so I made it to Yates, this is 370 k's in. Uh, planned a long stop here anyway. And um, hopefully managed to find a fix. So this should fit in there directly. Um, it's not a powerful, it was my spare light. But this um, this doesn't need the adapter now, the extender. I, if, um, it's, yeah, it's not very bright. If I need to, I think I can swap these two around. But um, yeah, I've got. I can put my other light on then. So from here, next one is um, oh, I, I, Farringdon or something like that. 440k. So I've got, I've got a big chunk now going into the night. And um, yeah, so it's gonna be uh, still a fair trek. And uh, hopefully, hopefully all this now holds up. So what a bit of a, um, well, not really a plan B, but just a slight change. Uh, past, uh, past the Premier Inn and um, I was just starting to feel pretty tired. So I thought I'll check it out. Um, it was really cheap. So I am going to get my head down for a couple of hours and um, yeah, I'll then crack on, get up, maybe get going about three o'clock. So I only have a little bit in, um, in the dark uh, and yeah, just see, see how I'm feeling. 
uh, hopefully back to Cardiff for at least a uh, decent time early morning. Good morning. So the sun's just coming up and I've uh, come through the town of Malesbury. That's the penultimate checkpoint. Uh, I got a hundred k's to go and quite glad I stopped because I'm, I'm feeling quite tired. <sighs> but yeah, hundred k's. Four hours ish, hopefully, maybe a bit quicker. It's been quite cold, but the sun's out now, so hopefully, start warming up. And uh, if the wind picks up, it should be a tailwind. But at the moment, there's no wind. Just had the last control over the other side of the bridge in Horst. And uh, got just under 50 k's left to cart it. We're glad we're under. So I finished, made it now back to Cardiff train station. Well, I've got Sam in a really bad way. So just gotta, got five minutes to catch a train. Made it, I'm home. Uh, still very broken. Uh, the last, uh, probably the last three hours of the ride was absolute hell. I wasn't able to eat anything. I was throwing up quite a bit. Uh, don't know what was going on. Uh, yeah, I was pretty motivated to get it finished because I needed to be back for something here today. Um, thank God I made that train because every other train after the one I got was, has been canceled today. So uh, yeah, I, had to, I was pushing myself pretty hard at the, at the end just to, just to get to the finish. And um, yeah, I can start thinking about Paris now. But after today, I'm not sure if I want to be thinking too much about it. Uh, yeah. Like I said, feeling very, very broken.